Hello everyone. It is a gloomy October afternoon and uh, it seems like it's pretty good weather to flip some tin. So I'm going to try to start off this video by doing a little flipping here at the house. Starting off with this stack here. It's been a, maybe two weeks or so since I flipped here. Oh, ring neck. Nice. It's the first one of those I found in this stack. Oh, it's completely not focused. That was awesome. Yeah, first ring neck snake in this stack and first snake of the day. All right. Looking like a nobody under that one. All right. This is usually the best piece out here to see something under, so. There we go. Oh, he's eating a chipmunk. Holy crap. Oh my goodness, I don't have my camera. Oh no. That is amazing. I'm going to get a picture on my phone real quick. That is amazing. That is another new rat snake under this piece. He's continuing to eat it. Okay, that's good. Holy crap. That is awesome. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. That is ins look at how fast he finished that thing off. That is incredible. Holy crap. I only got like one cell phone photo of it, but I mean, that's fine by me. That is amazing. <laughs> that is definitely one of the coolest things I've seen here at the house. Oh, there's a ring neck down there too. That is one of the coolest things I've ever flipped. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to gently move him out of the way and just put this piece down because I don't want that to go to waste. That is amazing. <sighs> that was awesome. He's still under that tent. I pulled him out briefly and let him crawl back under it because I didn't want to risk squishing him. And I did all that off camera because I didn't want to harass him any longer than I had to. Yeah, a ring neck and a rat snake under that piece. That was awesome. Hopefully there will be some more stuff out though. But even if we don't see anything else, I mean, that is definitely <laughs> makes it worth getting out today. That was crazy. Very, very seldom do I actually get to see snakes doing stuff that cool in the wild. Well, the rodents have definitely been working on this piece. Nobody under... Oh, where'd those guys come from? What on earth? I literally looked over here and noticed all those burrows. I was like, well, the rodents have been active under this. And then I look over and there's just a million little men running around. Huh. All right, next piece. Nobody under there. All right, next sheet. I haven't found a snake under this since summertime. I guess it's staying too shady and cool. All right, this is another piece that hasn't really produced much recently, but has been very good in the past. Yet again, pretty wet, pretty cool, isn't getting much sun. So probably not an ideal place for a snake to be right now this late in the fall. All right, this stuff's out in the open. Might be a little too warm. The fence lizard, little baby guy. Now that feels nice. Nobody though. It's getting to be that time of year where this stuff that's out in the open gets a lot of sun. It's more likely to have snakes. So I like our odds in this stack today. I haven't flipped it in a while. any scorpions there's one ring neck there we go two ring necks ring neck ring neck this little guy's still hanging out looking a lot prettier than the last time we flipped him he was covered in dirt but beautiful little marbled salamander these guys have not been as common as they usually are this time of year but I'm sure at some point in the near future, they will start coming out of the woodwork like crazy. So we're just gonna leave this guy alone. We found him a couple times over the past couple weeks and he seems to like this rock. This is worm snake rock for the long time viewers. 
There's a worm snake. It's almost got to be a different one than the one we have been seeing over here because it's been weeks and normally snakes are only in shed for a week or so. I think we first found this guy almost a month ago at this point. So definitely too long for one snake to have been under here in shed. So this is almost certainly a different worm snake, but. A nice little blue tailed skink. I'm assuming that is a uh, southeastern five lined or a regular five lined. We don't really get broadheads here. This board is looking nice. The rodents have been using it. It's a good thing. No, oh, is that the same one or a different one? What the heck? That might be a different one, but it's right next to where we flipped the spotted salamander a couple videos ago. I do think this is the same spotted. It's kind of hard to mistake that giant cantankerous body shape that this one has. Definitely a big female, and I think it'd be pretty unlikely there'd be two, but I'm gonna look at my pictures real quick and compare that pattern on the face and see if it's the same animal to be sure. Sure enough, this is the same big lady. I compared the pattern, that dot on the side there, on her head, and that one right there. Pretty distinctive in photos and video. So really cool to see her. This is the piece we flipped her under last time. There was nobody under there today, but uh, she was under this big uh, black toolbox. Really cool. So I'll just put her back and uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue seeing her throughout the winter, at least until she migrates down to the vernal pools to get ready to breed. All right, last flip of the day. Nobody. All right, well. All right, everyone. Well, I did end up getting out the road cruise tonight, and here is our first snake of the evening. Wow, what's up, dude? Take it easy, chill out. I'm gonna try to find a stick, because I don't have my snake hook. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> No! No! Go that way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking with my phone in my mouth. Go on. Out of the road, dude. Go. So yeah, we did end up having a little bit of time to road cruise tonight. That was the first snake of the night. We just got out here, so we're going to keep at it for a little bit longer and see what else we can turn up. Feels really good out here for how late it is in the season, so. <laughs> well, it looks like that will be the only snake we find tonight. We're currently on the way home. If we see anything else, obviously we'll stop. It stayed nice and warm. I don't. The moon is huge tonight. That could be part of the issue. But uh, I was really expecting to do a little better than we did, especially once we got that copperhead right off the bat. So anyways, I'm probably going to see you guys tomorrow. So if we don't see anything else tonight, I will check in with you guys when I get out in the field. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a beautiful, sunny, late October day here in North Georgia. And I'm getting ready to do a little bit of hiking today. I've uh, been doing a lot of road cruising lately as we normally do this time of year. So we're gonna get out and try to break up the pattern a little bit and flip some tin and hike habitat. All right. Fire ants. This is not hot. Not hot, hot at least. There is a snake under here. He's just tucked in way down here at the bottom. A brown snake, deep in shed. First snake of the day. Incredible. We're gonna pull him out real quick and get a picture. That guy is super deep in shed, so we're just gonna leave him to it. But first snake of the day, took a while. Never found a king under that or anything for that matter, besides red bellies, right? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Three garters. So this is likely a breeding ball of garter snakes, two little males and a bigger female right there. That is very cool to see though. We're just gonna leave them to it though. There might, there's, there's four, are there I four? I think there's four. I think yeah. that was another one. There's, so there's another one down there in the nest, the rodent nest. Four garters in one flip, not bad. Well, nothing crazy, but here's our next snake of the day. I just found this guy under that little piece of bark right there. Nice little ring neck. We haven't seen as many of these as we usually do out here. So it's been a really slow day overall so far. Just the uh, the one brown snake and all those garter snakes under that one piece of tin. And I think Richard found one other ring neck. So it's been pretty slow so far, but we've got a couple more areas we're going to hit. Hopefully we'll be able to turn it around. But for now, here's a nice little ring neck. Let's put him back. 
There you go. Here's our next ring neck of the day. In shed and coiled up nicely. But we're just gonna leave them right there. Here's our next herp of the day. A nice Eastern box turtle. Trying his best to look like a Nerf football from 20 years ago. Yeah, nice Eastern box turtle. First one of these we've seen today. And uh, something that will probably start getting more and more uncommon as we go later and later into the fall. Um, every once in a while we'll see these guys in the winter, but generally they're a pretty warm weather exclusive turtle. All right, guys, we got our next snake of the day. I was walking along this log and I stepped over it and almost landed right on top of our next garter snake of the day. These guys are everywhere all of a sudden. Not a species that we see with any predictability, but they are fairly common. They just kind of turn up when they turn up around here. But really cool, nice, handsome eastern garter snake. Only snake I think that we've seen out basking. Everything else has been flipped. Yeah, we're just going to let him go, let him continue with his day. But always nice to see a couple garter snakes since we never really see them with any regularity. And usually when we do, they're on a road. So it's nice to find a couple in habitat today for sure. All right, buddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I have some stuff to do this afternoon, so I'm gonna have to head out, unfortunately. Um, snakes were out in decent numbers today, but not nearly as good as I was expecting it to be. Uh, and really kind of weird with all the garter snakes. This is an area where we do see garter snakes, but it's definitely not an area where they're typically something you see multiple of in a day. So it was really cool to see a bunch of those today at the very least. Um, I definitely don't have enough to finish up this video yet though, so I'm probably going to be checking in with you guys again tomorrow. Good evening, everyone. It is starting to look a lot like fall here in Georgia, even though it's really been fall for about a month and a half now. Uh, but the leaves are finally starting to change colors a little bit. It's been a bit of a rough patch. We uh, we tried to herp yesterday, didn't see anything. It cooled off really fast. But we're back out here the next day. Uh, main target is definitely gonna be coral snakes today. Uh, I'd really like to see another one before the year ends, but it's kind of starting to feel like that's not gonna happen. Uh, but I'm gonna cruise around out here for a little bit and see if there's any corals out. And if it seems like there's not much moving, I'm gonna go flip some tin. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, road cruising was not working out as per usual. I uh, saw a couple of DORs, but now I'm out here getting ready to flip some tin that I have not hit since I set up. So, we're gonna see how it looks. Good is how it looks. We just have to find some snakes that agree. to the next one all right next set no one all right this is definitely the best looking one so far I think I'm gonna say that's a rat shed. No snakes though. Holy crap, there we go. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at that. I'm gonna grab him real quick. I, I don't even know what to say about this animal. That is one of the most incredible Eastern king snakes I've ever found. Holy crap under this single piece of tin that once again I've never found anything under and I've gotten so frustrated today that I've just stopped even recording flipping stuff. I'm in disbelief. Look at that thing's face. That is easily one of the prettiest eastern king snakes I've ever seen. That is incredible. I love the chains. It's so cool to get to see chains on kings this far west in Georgia. But they don't come easy. This is the second king snake I found at this spot in several years of herping here. That is insane. It's a female, young female, Eastern King. Look at these chains. That is something that we very rarely see this far west in Georgia. And I have, like I said earlier, I've seen one king snake at this spot. Actually, the first time I ever came out here, I found one. 
And this is the first one I've seen since then, and that was, I think, three years ago now. I actually don't even have words for this snake. This is, I, I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but I think, screw off flies, I think this is one of my favorite Eastern King Snakes I've ever found. Look at it, just look at it. What a beautiful king snake, though. And the first snake of the day, after hours of literally nothing, I mean, we've been tin flipping just alone for like the last five or six hours. And this is the first snake of the day. Beautiful adult female, small adult, young adult female, Eastern King. All right, put her back by her piece of tin. Go on. What a snake though. We're only gonna find one snake today. That might as well be it. Look at that chain. Absolutely perfect in every way. Alrighty, we've got a couple more things to flip in this little area, so let's go do that and see if there's any more snakes. All right, historically this stack right here has been pretty good. Um, I haven't literally seen just the one snake today, so I'm not counting on it, but if we're gonna find anything else today, this is where I bet it will be. Oh, a rat, huge rat. Look at that thing. I'm gonna get a picture real quick. All right, let's see if this guy's alone under there. I don't think I realized just how big the snake was under that tin. That is a titanic rat snake. I mean, <laughs> that's one of the biggest rat snakes, one of the biggest native snakes I've even seen in the United States. That is incredible. How's it going, buddy? And it's beautiful, too. This is your kind of classic Georgia Piedmont gray rat look. Really cool looking snake. All this blood on my hand is from that king snake's cloaca. They do defensive butthole bleeding. I don't know if I've mentioned that on the channel before. I feel like I probably have. But yeah, beautiful big rat snake. If the king snake food out here is getting this big, it makes you wonder how big the kings can get. If you don't see anything else, that's as good a way as any to end the day. King snake and a rat snake back to back. I've still got one more stack of tin to flip here, actually, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put this guy back, but beautiful, gigantic gray rat snake as our next snake of the day. Second snake of the day. You can see it's getting pretty late, getting dark on me here shortly, so I'm going to let this guy go and flip that last couple of things, and we'll see if there's any more snakes. All right, big man. Your tin is down. He's trying to climb the tree beside me. There you go. Go on. Come on, there you go. Go on. <laughs> it's like, nah, dude, I'm just gonna dangle here on your arm. Go on. Go, go, go. There we go. What a monster. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, another rat. Very nice. Little guy this time. Kind of ridiculous. No snakes all day, and then three at this one little flip spot. This guy is actually even more gray looking than the big one. Very nice. All right, we'll put him back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, I think I'm gonna call it a day at that. Covered in snake bites, covered in briar scratches, fire ant bites. And I'm exhausted because it has been just one of those days that test me and test me and test me and test me. But at the end of the day, we ended up coming out on top with a couple of really nice snakes here to wrap up this video. So I'm going to start making my way back to the car and maybe go get myself something to eat because I have not had anything to eat all day and I'm starving. So I do think I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.